Hey everyone, Rick Ritter here with WJZ. What a weekend for UMBC. Literally, putting the school on the map, the men's basketball team. First and foremost, congratulations to them making NCAA history, becoming the first ever 16 seed to defeat a one seed. If you've been living under a rock and you haven't been following along, well, I feel bad for you because it has been absolutely crazy, uh, not only around the country, but especially in the Baltimore area with excitement surrounding this team. I'm gonna introduce my photographer today. Uh, we have a lighter story. I work with him every day, appreciate all of his help. Mr. Eric Scott, Heavy over here. That's his Hello. nickname, Heavy. He actually played a little bit of college basketball. And our story today, we're gonna to be talking about you know what this does for the university and how literally it puts it on the map, not only in terms of sports, but admissions and, and enrolling kids here potentially. You can't pay for this type of publicity. Not at all. Not at Not all. at all. A lot of people want to know where UMBC is right now. A lot of people understand that the same thing happened. We have a guy that works with us, Bob Turk. His daughter went to Florida Gulf Coast. This is very true. Because she saw Florida Gulf Coast do well in the NCAAs and decided, hey, Dad, that's where I want to go. So UMBC, <laughs> they are. their website crashed. Exactly. Exactly, and it's funny, I had worked in Florida a couple years ago when FGCU, they were a 15 seed who defeated a two seed. Very similar to this, a huge deal. What it did for the university in terms of enrollment, you know, bringing in sponsors, the whole nine yards, it's just you can't put a price tag on that type of publicity. Obviously, UMBC, here they are. I mean, this is, this is real. This is happening right now. And it's spring break, so lots That's, of people want to know where this place is right the excitement is here i'm interested to get out and see what's going on around campus because these are locals and people that are just hanging out here right right and we're actually going to speak with somebody from admissions today they had said that guidance counselors from high schools across the country are reaching out wanting more information on umbc so we're gonna have a great story today on the excitement and what this is doing for the university and of course the men's basketball team make sure you tune into wjz tonight four, five, and six o'clock.